finally something the pandemic literally can't slow down. Well, come to think of it, not even the frozen temperatures of minus 40 degrees can slow it down either. So, yeah, we're obviously talking about an electric bus. Why? Well, what were you talking about? I genuinely do not know. <laughs> but to the main topic of the video, the bus running completely on electricity rather than conventional fuel is giving its counterparts stiff competition. So in this video, we're going to talk about the origins, the performance, the manufacturing details, and what the future holds for electric buses. Are you on board? Because this bus is about to leave. This electric bus, if you didn't get the joke. Anyways, it's no surprise that Mother Earth has been scorching us and our flora and fauna alike thanks to the increasing level of emissions that we are just failing to contain. A success story of an electric vehicle working in frigid temperatures of minus 40 degrees should excite you probably about as much as it's exciting us. If this Alaskan school bus becomes like a real successful case, we could be looking at cutting down emissions from gas guzzlers on a giant scale, which is sounds pretty dang fascinating and helpful. Hopeful, helpful, I, hell hopeful, hell hopeful? I, I, either way, it is helpful and hopeful. So let's find out if this bus lives up to the hype, or if this is one of those uh, all bark, no bite scenarios. So, the bus that hasn't missed a single day of school. Not even like traditional vehicles can say that they've achieved the same things that this bus has. So let's figure out how it's made and how it's become such a success. I'm not trying to give any spoilers away, but what do you think? Can a vehicle operate under such frigid temperatures like they are in Alaska? And it, can it prove safe for transporting children through said temperatures? I mean, children are the future after all. Let's find out. The party bus that just don't stop. When we think of electric vehicles like, you know, our trucks or hybrids, we generally probably think of Tesla. And that's not without any reason. I mean, Tesla's cornered a rather large chunk of the electric vehicle market. But this vehicle manufactured by Thomas Built Buses is here to give Tesla a little run for its money. Thomas Built Buses is an American bus manufacturer, is a name behind the yellow buses we see carrying children to educational institutions currently. Even if you didn't know Thomas Built Buses, which is a hilarious name for that sentence, you're familiar with their product, and it seems like their push to the world of electric vehicles isn't exactly new. In fact, they've been trying to get like electric buses introduced and adopted for mass use in America for quite some time, so a big share of their products use diesel engine that's been upgraded over generations. One state, however, is welcoming electric vehicles with very open arms. Virginia actually recorded an increase in alternative fuel vehicles in the uh, year of 2021. And since transportation is the greatest contributor to carbon emissions, that news comes as a much needed relief in these trying times. While EVs are suitable to work in basically any temperature, extremes in both directions can compromise the vehicle's durability and also just its ability to function effectively as a vehicle. Alaska is a state in where the temperature regularly goes as low as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and that poses some additional challenges. I mean, I personally love the cold, but I don't think cars like severe cold as much. They can't just wear big jackets. Although now imagining a car in a giant parka is that's a pretty good image. Anyways, those frigid temperatures can reduce the range of unplugged electric vehicles by almost 20%, and recharging them takes a lot longer than it does in warmer climates. Now, we're no scientists here, but we do know that buses for children <laughs> need to be kept warm inside for the children so they don't turn into little kitty popsicles. As a government mandate, temperatures inside school buses are regulated to be kept at 45 degrees at a minimum, and all the cold is taking a toll on the electric system. Even with proper insulation on the batteries and covering the engine compartment, the bus uses a lot more energy to heat up than it does even just driving. Naturally, that's an area that really can't be compromised on, so the school officials are very closely monitoring those statistics to give us a pretty detailed view of the functioning. Sharing some of the observations, we can tell you that on days below negative 40, heating the bus drained over half the battery power, just again, in and of itself. The efficiency and range on such days are recorded at 3.46 kilowatts per mile. That number dropped dangerously low in the fall, to only 1.4 to 1.7 kilowatts per mile. This data is actively being shared with the manufacturer so they can understand and upgrade the tech accordingly. Despite all the challenges and the cold and mind-numbing air, the bus stands victorious. Well, it, as much as a bus can stand. It's been renewed to run for a second year. The bus was said to have heated the interiors well enough and managed to keep it that way. Officials are confident that the bus will perform pretty admirably in its second run. So, now that you know that the bus has indeed been a successful venture, we're pretty sure you're wondering about the specifications of the vehicle. So, let's take a look at the battery behind the beast. The battery was manufactured by Proterra, who is a leading manufacturer in lightweight but powerful batteries that deliver a performance range of up to 15 million miles. 
That number is pretty high, but remember, buses make millions of trips every year, as often as twice a day for five to six times a week. And to put a little cherry on top, they cost less to function than conventional fuel buses. The cost is almost down by half, and as innovation reigns behind the scenes, we're likely to see a decline in these costs too. The buses also have innovative vehicle-to-grid capabilities, and for those who miss their engineering classes, like myself, that means that electric buses can function as versatile storage units. And simply put, they're capable of selling excess electricity back to a utility company, thereby creating an additional revenue for the school. So the bottom line is that not only does it run at half the cost of traditional vehicle, it also has the potential to make some money in return. So boy, oh boy, if there was ever a deal worth taking. Other than that, the bus is also a super fast charging time that comes as a standard with all the models. The battery capacity is also the largest in the electric bus industry period, giving a 226 kilowatt per hour number, which is an impressive number considering the size and weight of a bus. Electric vehicles generally sacrifice size to afford mobility, but hey, not here. A school bus also needs to be, like, safe. And as safe as they come, too, hence the smart braking system featured in this. The IntelliPark system is a series of interlocks that are installed in critical areas like seat belts or the door, thus preventing crashes by automatically parking brakes or engaging the parking brakes rather if the driver has forgotten to do so. Additionally, the bus also features SmartTrack, which is a vehicle tracking system that allows for accurate tracking and communication, with real-time vehicle location as far as the touch of a button, which can provide peace of mind to the parents. Uh, here, here's a little math joke warning for you. This bus is honestly like the physical manifestation of the equation pi. I mean, these features just do not end. <laughs> Up top. The next feature in a long line of an already impressive portfolio is an automatic reversing door. A smart technology that you often see at work in elevators or smart doors. Auto reversing is smart enough to make out an obstruction in the way by use of pressure pads and reversing the closing action, overriding the driver's commands. Basically, an audible alarm goes off, which signals the doors are about to reverse open, catching everybody's attention. And while this feature doesn't aim to replace an alert driver, it's a pretty handy tool to make the life of everyone on board easier. You might have heard about cameras in cars that help the driver park and pull out, and now, thanks to Thomas-built buses, this technology is available at an upgraded value. A 360-degree camera providing a perimeter view is installed aboard the bus's systems. High resolution and colored images are projected onto the screen for the driver to consult beforehand. Moreover, these professional-grade cameras feature a series of automatic heating functions and infrared light, which makes seeing under difficult weather and scarce lighting a lot easier. Remember, we're talking about Alaskan weather here, so snows and storms and snowstorms are much more common there. You'd, you really would need features like this. The brightness also automatically adjusts as well, so, I mean, we did tell you that these are professional grade cameras. I bet those bad boys ain't cheap. So here we are a huge fan of the bottom, line, and hence here are the key takeaways from the video. The electric bus functioning in Alaska proved to be up to the challenge of facing temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees, and also compliance with the government mandate to keep the internal temperature at 45 degrees was also relatively easily achieved. The bus had successfully completed one year in service and is renewed to run for a second year, essentially making it a sophomore. So there you go, bus. Next year, you're going to be a gosh darn senior. I'm so proud of you. Uh, the bus is loaded with impressive features that all guarantee the safety of the kiddos. Innovative V2G capabilities, fast charging, and the largest battery capacity in literally the entire industry of EV buses. Not to mention the IntelliPark system that handles the braking, SmartTrack, the system responsible for tracking and communicating with vehicles on the road, auto-reversing doors, 360-degree perimeter view cameras. I, I mean, the future of electric vehicles is just starting. Even with all of our expertise, the industry is still in its infancy, and in, in wide-scale adoption is a mountain we are yet to climb. But successful cases like this Alaskan bus are a reason to hope. So get your mountain climbing shoes, everybody. And with that, we conclude our analysis of the bus that weathered negative 40 degrees. And be sure to subscribe so you never miss any new content that we upload just for you, specifically you, viewer. And yeah, later.